What's up guys, Matty Ash here back with another video. Today we're starting the day off, I'm working on some rugs. I woke up pretty late and dad already watered and fed the birds, so I am working on a rug for my friend. Alright guys, so the reason why I make content is honestly because it helps me like do stuff like this. It pushes me to do a good job and it pushes me to actually commit and do it. I'm working on it, getting better day by day, but again, that's why I make content just so I could push myself to be the best of me and really document it and compare it to, you know, the past self and I can't compare it to my recent self. And yeah, <laughs> just seeing a lot of self growth is enough for me to make me happy. We are just working on this rug. Yeah, just gotta fill up these last two spots right here and right there and then uh, I'll be able to cut out the rug. I always can improve every day. You can always do better, but just gotta be happy that I'm better than I was when I first started. But yeah, recording content and all that stuff kind of helps me just like reflect on my life. Uh, when I go back and edit, I get to see how I can improve to do better and what I gotta work on. Uh, at least that's just what helps for me because again, I grew up on the internet. Um, I grew up getting advice, learning a lot for, through YouTube. So that's why I make YouTube videos just to help whoever needs help with whatever i'm no expert again i'm only 22 still figuring out things and again i appreciate everyone's support thank you guys so much for watching my videos and just spreading positivity and kindness but yeah guys don't mind the mess um hope everyone's having a great day again i'm just going to be showing you guys my process um of how i clean my chicken coops i know everyone does their thing a little differently but yeah the first tool that you're going to need is obviously a trash bag to put all the old scraps and stuff like that next you're going to need a uh, a brush to like just I mean, it's a brush. You do with the brush, man. You brush things. It's just a dustpan and a broom, basically. And then I have a little scraper here. This is actually something that they use for laying down tiles and, and moving that stuff around. And I lay the tiles in my room and for my mom, I lay down the tiles with my dad. And I'm using it to scrape up the poop, the poop that hardens up and or whatever gets stuck to the, the wood itself. I just kind of use this to dig out the corners and whatnot. And yeah, the trash bag that I'm using is actually recycled bead bags and stuff like that. But yeah, once you have all your tools, the next step is to clean out the pens, is to take out the birds first. Um, as you saw, I got the silver quail rooster already situated. I'm about actually about to get them some water. And since I am taking all the birds out, I am just doing a quick examination, checking how they are doing, uh, seeing if they have any mites or anything like that, seeing how they're, if they have any shit build up on their butt. And yeah, just making sure that they're looking good and healthy, um, no issues. This is beauty. She doesn't like to really be held. She likes to stand on her own. Again, I, you can kind of see I already trimmed her vent. I could trim it a little more, but she should be fine. Again, it's just really hot, so I just try to help them out during this hot time. I do wet them down and stuff like that. For the most part, uh, they know how to keep themselves pretty cool. Again, she don't like to really be held. She likes to stand on her own and do her thing. But yeah, again, just trimmed it a little bit, so that way she just has a little more ventilation. But yeah, this is the struggle of trying to make content by myself. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get her situated into a little spot while we clean out her cage. Again, just got her water in there. Uh, she already ate earlier, so this is just a temporary location. That way she could just stretch out and I can clean up her coop. All right, and this is like my mini leaper. His name is Blueface. And again, I just clean up three cages at a time because I only have three extra cages um, right now that are free. I gotta get some more uh, drop pens. Yeah, just gotta save up and work towards that. Also trying to build a storage, but again, I'm just checking him, seeing if he's doing okay. I usually like to stretch out my bird's feathers like this, so that the way they get used to being held. Um, you can see that he's not freaking out or anything. Again, he's just a horn dog. He likes to jump off my hand and chase the ladies. Um, again, I do that, I brush under their feathers right here so they get used to uh, you holding them. Again, I'll show you a rooster that isn't used to being held. Yeah, again, this is just stuff that I do. I check uh, again, handsome guy. Again, he can't really mount up. The reason why I really like him is because he looks like my dad's uh, leaper. He has that fluff. Yeah, we're gonna move him to the other location. Again, I just spent a lot of time out here uh, looking at the birds, studying if you will. So I tell my mom so that way I could be back here chilling. <laughs> just a different type, it's more like observing. Again, let's get to cleaning these coops. But yeah, once I get all the old uh, pine pellets out and pine shavings, I put the new pine pellets and pine shavings in. Uh, this is just a, like, bedding. Uh, bedding pellets, I mean, sorry. I put it towards the front because that's where like, the water gets in. And then I put the pine shavings in the back because, again, uh, 
it's more for just like catching their poop. Um, I can use both, but this kind of costs a little more if, in a way, again, it just costs more again in, in the area that it takes up. I know some people, they kind of wet it, um, so that way it powders up and then they kind of just have powder in there inside the coops, but I kind of let it absor absorb the water when the water does drip. Again, I'll kind of show you guys what it looks like um, before I cleaned it up. And this is how the pine uh, pellets look when they get wet. Honestly, ever since I started using the pine pellets, I don't have like buildup of like uh, food when it gets wet or anything like that because again uh, these pine pellets or these the pine bedding really does a great job of absor absorbing up all the water again i think it's a 10 out of 10. um highly recommend using uh, the pellet bedding again this is like the before you can kind of see it the before and then this is like the after or vice versa again however you want to look at it again this is before i cleaned it this is after i cleaned it this is before the chickens are in and that's after the chickens are in and then again just repeat the process yay Alright, since we do have some daylight, this bird, unlike Blue, is like wild. Wild as in like, he's not used to being touched. Um, he's kind of more scared of us than anything. So that's why I brush underneath here so that he knows that way I'm not going to hurt him. Um, but usually before when I first got him, when I did this, he used to flap. Um, but again, I do this so that way they could stop flapping. Again, that way uh, they're just a little more calm. Again, he's doing a lot better than when he first got here. Again, he's kind of young too. So, yeah. I just wanted to share that with y'all. That's why I like go under their feathers and I hold them as I move my birds around and stuff. So that way they're just easy to handle and also just check up on them, make sure that they're doing okay. But yeah, time to get the birds and put them back in. Get in there. Yeah, get up there, girl. You know what to do, they already know what to do. Come on, big guy. No need to flap, no need to flap. No need to flap, you heard? Is he gonna jump up? Yeah, jump up, my boy. Yeah, let me try that. Let me try that, but boy, good job. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. That's how I do my coop. That's how I maintain my birds and stuff like that, um, like weekly. Also, I um, take my birds out usually, but I haven't been lately, so that's why I had to clean it. Again, I usually do that during the day, but I've been moving around some stuff, building some stuff with dad. Again, I will have some more videos and vlogs about that stuff soon.